Uh, so every one of these halvings, uh, you know, basically over time, uh, you know, the number of new Bitcoin generated goes down. And so that actually puts downward pressure on miner revenue. Uh, and that's offset by the fact that Bitcoin's price keeps going up. Uh, but eventually you, you'll reach an equilibrium. So this will this will go up, assuming nothing, no tail risks happen, like the United States, you know, banning it or something. You'll eventually kind of reach an equilibrium, you know, maybe around here where, you know, the, 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 the number of Bitcoins in existence is now, you know, it's going up by 3.125, uh, you know, every 10 minutes and then, it, and then half of that. Uh, and so if you look at a long-term chart of uh, Bitcoin's uh, minor revenue as a percentage of market cap, it keeps going down. And so in this period here, it was very inflationary. And so Bitcoin's minor revenue was about 40% of market capitalization in a given year. Uh, whereas as you moved forward, uh, it got down to like 20% of, of Bitcoin's market capitalization. Then it got down to about 10%. Then it got down to about 5%. And most recently, it's down to about 2% of, of Bitcoin's uh, market capitalization. And that's likely to go down to about 1% or so before eventually finding some equilibrium. And so overall, uh, you know, the, the energy usage does not go up linearly with the market capitalization. Uh, and then the second point is that the energy is increasingly efficiently used. Uh, and so it's not, you know, it, for the most part, you know, uh, Bitcoin, because Bitcoin mining is mobile, uh, Bitcoin miners go to wherever energy is being produced but not used. Uh, and so a common, uh, you know, example is China, where in, in certain provinces in China, they built a ton of hydroelectric dams, but there's not a lot of people there. And so when you have the wet season and you have more electricity produced by those dams, that there's, basically that electricity would otherwise be, be wasted. And so miners go there and then they start using that excess electricity. In a similar way, in North America, we have a company called Great American Mining. And so what, you know, basically all these different shale oil companies, when they, when they mine oil and gas, uh, often together, they, they, in, especially in that formation, they often come out together. Uh, and, but the problem is, you know, if, 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 there, if it's only like a little bit of gas uh, and it's not very, uh, you know, kind of a, a cost effective to build a pipeline, uh, a lot of those places end up burning their gas away. They flare it away and just kind of literally burn it into the atmosphere. Uh, and so this company, Great American Mining, says, hey, like, so you're, you're producing some gas. It's not economic to build a pipeline. How about we bring a, a little like trailer with Bitcoin miners in it? We'll put it right next to your gas development, and and you can mine Bitcoin with it, and we'll split the profits. Uh, and so instead of just burning that and putting it in the atmosphere, we'll, we'll take that uh, that energy that's otherwise being produced. Uh, and so over time, you know there are certain provinces in China where they use coal for it, uh, but and that's that's actually kind of decreasing over time. And it, you know over it basically mainly focusing on the types of energy that would otherwise be wasted. And so the combination of the, the, the Bitcoin eventually e uh, reaching equilibrium and, and kind of a small percentage of market capitalization going towards mining, and then two, uh, that, that kind of emphasis towards Bitcoin going to wherever energy is being produced but not used, uh, basically, you know, in my view, uh, greatly minimizes the environmental impact. It's not like we're taking uh, energy that would otherwise be used for something else and directing it to Bitcoin. We're taking energy that would otherwise be wasted and directing it to Bitcoin.